When it comes to LGBTQ plus issues, the climate around the world lately has gotten so toxic that it's even affecting people who aren't part of the LGBTQ plus community. For example, in June, a man from Kelowna, British Columbia, reportedly accosted a nine-year-old athlete who was competing in a girls' track event, and he accused her of being trans, while his wife allegedly called her parents groomers. However, the little girl who he attacked was not trans, she was cis. But that's not all, because last week, two teachers from Baytown, Texas, were fired from the First Baptist Academy where they taught after attending a drag show on their own time. And since that is a private religious school, their termination for that reason is apparently A-OK because freedom. But those two stories speak to the so-called groomer panic that has been created by the right over the course of the last couple of years. But more and more people increasingly are getting caught up in this smear campaign against queer people. Another one is Christine Galinaro and her 15-year-old son, who happens to be autistic and nonverbal. So on June 16th, she took him to see Disney's Elemental at a theater in Hazlitt, New Jersey, and the experience was an absolute nightmare for her and her son, thanks to transphobes. Because as NJ.com reports, the incident began when Galinaro's son needed to use the bathroom, and she took him into the women's restroom. There is no family restroom at the Cinemark in Hazlitt, according to the law suit. My son is not equipped to go into a men's bathroom in a public setting alone, Galinaro told NJ Advance Media last week. I took him to the women's bathroom. There were other women in the restroom, some of them mothers, she said. Right away, they see he's with me. They pick up why he's in the bathroom with me, she said, noting that she noticed one woman looking at me smiling. The 59-year-old manager of the movie theater wasn't as understanding, the suit alleges. The manager angrily approached and shouted blatantly discriminatory remarks toward the mother and the 15-year-old the lawsuit alleges quote a grown man should not be in the women's restroom the manager said in the crowded lobby according to the suit quote this is not a transgender bathroom and there it is this is not a transgender bathroom but that begs the question if somebody is trans and wants to use the bathroom do they just have to hold it if they go to that movie theater because this manager is a transphobe I mean, you have a mother who is taking her 15-year-old son to the bathroom because he needs her assistance, but automatically people assume she's doing that for nefarious reasons. And not only were they kicked out by the manager, but the manager then instructed the assistant manager to call the police on them. And when the police got there, they confirmed that they had to leave because it was a private establishment. And now the mother is suing, as the article implied. And as LGBTQ Nation explains, Galinaro's lawsuit accuses the theater, its corporate owner, Owners, Nicolette and Mansueto of violating the New Jersey law against discrimination, which includes protections against discrimination on the basis of disability. Yeah. So the manager thought that she was discriminating against a transgender person, but she was in fact discriminating against somebody who was disabled. Now, both forms of discrimination are still deeply immoral and wrong, full stop. But because of this climate fostered by the right, it has become socially acceptable to explicitly be discriminatory towards trans people. And what makes matters so much worse in this particular story is that the manager chose to accost this mom and her son on her own volition. No other patrons were complaining. In fact, as the mom stated, a mother smiled at her, basically tacitly acknowledging she understands why she has to bring her son into the women's restroom. I mean, the boy wasn't claiming that he was trans so he can go into the woman's bathroom and perv on women. Nobody came to the manager and made that allegation, right? It's obvious to the patrons why the mom was bringing her son in there. But the manager, who was probably just drunk on right-wing Kool-Aid, decided to take matters into her own hands to protect women from the scary person that she thought was trans that did not need her protection. It's just... This is what happens when you see nonstop anti-trans propaganda in media and not enough trans voices to dispel these myths. Now, if the theater had a family bathroom, i.e. a gender neutral bathroom, then I'm sure that the mother would have opted for that instead. But since that wasn't an option, she had to make do with what she had. And since her son had to use the bathroom, she just took him into the women's bathroom. It was fine wasn't an issue until the manager made it an issue, right? But you'd be mistaken to think that that would somehow quell the concerns of transphobes because apparently gender neutral bathrooms is also very controversial. For example, uh, this is how one man in Fairview, Ohio reacted in a Petco when he saw that they had gender neutral bathrooms because, oh my God, how dare you throw that in my face? I 
is gay. She just told me my opinion didn't matter. She's about to talk to me like that. I, I thought I was. She said she was. Stop with the general, stop with the general neutral shit. Men and women are different. Listen, you might think that he's a petulant man, baby, but I think his rage is totally justified considering the fact that they had a big sign that said grooming, which I'm sure is a reference to their gender neutral bathroom. So they're actually advertising the fact that they're grooming at that Petco. They're just admitting it now. <laughs> I'm joking about this, but there's going to come a time probably where somebody goes viral for uh, claiming that like a dog groomer is grooming kids or something like that's that's how stupid the climate is right that's how high the hysteria in this current uh climate is right and listen i don't understand why all of a sudden gender neutral bathrooms are suddenly controversial i mean i do but at the same time they've always existed family bathrooms have always existed i mean i remember as a child my mom would take me to those as a kid so that way she wouldn't you know let me use the uh, men's bathroom alone right but then again i did also grow up to be gay so i guess that maybe the uh, family bathrooms groomed me maybe that's maybe that's why they're bad and i'm not helping the case but i mean you see the point that i'm trying to make right you see the problem the environment for lgbtq plus people is so toxic that even straight cis people are experiencing anti-lgbtq plus bigotry and predictably anti-queer hatred has manifested in much more nefarious ways so over the weekend in watertown wisconsin lgbtq advocates hosted an all-ages pride in the park event that featured wait for it drag queen story hour and a drag show where drag queens sang show tunes and waved around a trans flag which is apparently very controversial but the event drew the ire of bigots like gays against groomers who showed up to protest the event along with anti-gay christians and some of them attempted to infiltrate the event as well and then they were escorted off of the property since the lgbtq plus hosts had gotten a permit for the event, so let's watch. The drag queen does get a permit, and you should get that on film and spread it around everyone. I hope you go all over the internet. That would be disgusting. Really great show. Show. Oh. Oh. This is disgusting. You guys need to stand up against this. Oh, shut it's up. disgusting oh, and rotten. Yes, it is. Get out. Get out. What law are we breaking? Side of the fence. But what law would we be breaking by the way? you not to be here. Well, just because they don't want me to be here doesn't mean I'm breaking the law. If they have the entire park reserved, they can ask you to get me here and ask us to enforce it. So, so you're saying I have to leave this park? Well, I'm saying you have to go on that side of the fence. Yes. Yeah. I'm like 95% sure that that Christian protester we just saw is a closeted homosexual, by the way. But regardless, you know, there was a lot of outrage by the protesters that showed up. However, gays against groomers and the Christian protesters weren't alone because they had backup. And when I say they had backup, I mean Nazis also showed up. There will be blood! 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 to know that first of all you can't all be pedophiles if majority of the pedophiles are in the catholic church yeah so they were smearing queer people as pedophiles and calling for their deaths now remember the young christian man who showed up to voice his displeasure with the pride event well the nazis had a special message for him in particular as they were leaving blood blood god bless jesus loves you brother Keep fighting, young man. Blood, blood, blood. I mean, if a Nazi told me to keep fighting the good fight, I would take that as a sign that maybe I'm on the wrong side of history and I should probably reevaluate all of my political views. But I mean, regardless, if the Christians or gays against groomers showed up with the Nazis, they were all there united with the same message of hate. 
but all across the country, this vitriol towards queer people, it's already led to violence. Like you see that they're chanting blood, 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 and you think, oh my God, somebody's gonna get killed. But need I remind you, it's already happened. Last year, the Club Q shooting ended in the deaths of five people who attended a drag show. And just a couple of days ago, 28-year-old O'Shea Sibley, a gay black man, was stabbed to death at a mobile gas station in Brooklyn after he and his friends got into a confrontation with young men who confronted them because they were offended by their dancing to music while they waited for their car to fill up. Now, NYPD's hate crime task force is currently investigating the incident as a hate crime. But I mean, that's not the first and it's not going to be the last. So when our culture collectively experiences a heightened level of sensitivity towards queer people or any marginalized group of people due to propaganda, I mean, it's just inevitable that harassment and hate crimes are going to follow cause and effect, right? But hopefully this video demonstrates that it's not just queer people who experience anti-LGBTQ plus discrimination. In many instances, it's so widespread, so ubiquitous that it also affects disabled people sometimes, cis girls, cis women sometimes, all kinds of non-queer people are affected by this bigotry, which is why all of us have an incentive to not allow it to happen, to push back at it whenever we see it. And all of this is an effort by the right to force queer people back into the closet because this backlash against queer people has brewed specifically, not just because of propaganda, but also because of a heightened visibility towards LGBTQ plus people. And the goal here is to intimidate us so as to push us back into the closet. But it's not queer people who should be forced back into the closet. It's the Nazis. And all of us who are against the Nazis should view this as a group effort to get them to go back into the closet because queer people should feel safe to be open about who they are. But the Nazis should not in a civilized society. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, around and find out. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, gay pride. Trans rights are human rights. It is necessary to push trans on the kids. Gay pride.